Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, everybody finally got here. Well, you couldn't have had hangovers. It's the first day, you know? Thank you. I'm John Waters, your bastard of ceremonies. We're, we're here on the Butt City stage, not to be confused with the gone shrimping one over there. No, sirree. We're not talking toes up here. We're talking ass cheeks, but not holes. Buns of steel, butts of greatness, little moons with no pressed ham. You know what a pressed ham is? That's when you moon with a car window still up. I, I got I got some little door prizes for you here tonight. It's anal bleach, little packages. There, there really is such a thing as this. And, and, and Johnny Knoxville sent them to me, really. It's, uh, it's for problem anal areas, but we don't have any problem anal areas here at Burger Boogaloo. We got music. And, uh, this is my third year of hosting. Last year I had Tracy Lords with me, which is the perfect Burger Boogaloo girl. Who could follow? Maybe Casey Anthony. Is she here? I, I, I read an interview with her recently where, where she said, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks of me. I think I'm like OJ. And then the tabloids had her marrying OJ. So maybe they could come here next year and host. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. No, we don't need them or anybody, because our sound is a disease, our fashions are a crime. My dad used to say to me, it's not Halloween, you know, every time I went out, but over here at Burger Boogaloo, it is Halloween every day. Did, girls, didn't your mother always say to you, why would you purposely make yourself so ugly? Well, we're not ugly, we got character, bad character, that's what we got. An attitude to looking for trouble. Well, boys, tough, gay, straight. I don't know. You can't tell here. Punk was the perfect place to go down low, if you ask me. Gearheads, hillbillies, Trump rejects. You, you've been expelled from school. You've violated parole. You've survived serving time and have projectile vomited in public. Pimples look good on your ass. You were never asked to be in a fraternity and you never you never eat and you wear combat boots in the shower. Uh, you hop trains, lived under bridges and still don't have a real job. And you girls, God you look great. Big women proud to be called trashy. Skinny chicks whose bones don't break when they fight. And hot babes who'll bust your balls if you even look at their tits when they're nude. You broke your legs on a motorcycle accident, got crabs on purpose, and spent, spread them to Republicans. You still pogo dance, even if you're 60 years old. We're a deranged family here at Burger Boogaloo, and this is our national holiday. Up next, Red Cross. Their first job was opening for Black Flag. Talk about a punk and entry-level job, really. <laughs> their song titles, I Hate My School, Kill Someone You Hate, but they're still warm and scuzzy to me, really. <laughs> Your mother sucks. No, they were first inspired by the masturbation scene in The Exorcist. Well, who wasn't, really? <laughs> I yell your mother sucks cocks in hell every time I come, don't you? They, they've covered songs from great musicals, and I'm not talking singing in the rain, I'm talking beyond the Valley of the Doll. You're old enough to reference the Shangri-Las and young enough to play here today. They stated they don't know what, they, 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 uh, we, we've inhabited many worlds but fit in none of them. Well, don't we know what they mean? The, the International Red Cross, the real one, threatened to sue if they didn't change the spelling of their name to a K. Why? Maybe they were confused with red wings? That's biker slang for cunnilingus having, when you're having your period. <laughs> Here, that could be a stage theme for next year, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, please welcome Red Cross. <laughs> 